Daily Pink Slip. From a giant boot-shaped gold nugget to half a billion dollars in Spanish treasure, we're counting down 10 of the greatest metal detecting finds of all time. Number 10. In 1989, a prospector out of Sonora, Mexico did something that most people did in the 1980s. Visited his local radio shack. There, he purchased a clunky old-school metal detector with hopes of finding buried treasure. After days of digging up junk, a massive signal rang through his detector. He quickly dug a hole to find an absolutely enormous gold nugget, the largest ever found in the Western Hemisphere. It's called the Boot of Cortez. I bet you can guess why. Weighing in at a whopping 389.4 troy ounces, this massive nugget is revered for its unique shape and purity. It was sold at auction in 2008 for $1.5 million. Cha-ching! Number 9. In 1992, something happened to farmer Peter Watling that has happened to us all. He lost one of his tools. He called his friend Eric Laws to use his metal detector to find his lost hammer. While searching for the hammer, Mr. Laws started digging up all sorts of gold and silver coins along with other miscellaneous treasures. After enlisting the help of archaeologists, the remainder of the Hoxney Horde was unearthed, resulting in over 7 pounds of gold, 52 pounds of silver, most of which was coins or jewelry. Laws was awarded close to $3 million for the find, which he shared with Watling. And the story has an even better ending than that. They were able to find the missing hammer as well. Number 8. Odyssey Marine Exploration discovered an unprecedented treasure in May 2007. From the bottom of the ocean, they were able to recover more than 600,000 silver coins, hundreds of gold coins, and many other valuables. Named the Black Swan Project, this astonishing treasure discovery tips the scales at over $500 million in value. Of course, with something this valuable, you know someone's not just going to let you keep it. After long court battles and such, they had to ship the treasure back to Spain where it was distributed among museums. But seriously, how pissed off would you be? Look at this! There was a whole room full of five-gallon buckets of coins! Did they even get a finder's fee? Regardless, we really like the CEO, because he looks a hell of a lot like Richard Dreyfus. Number 7. Daniel Wellen and his son Andrew proved to be an amazing treasure hunting team when they discovered the Vale of York Horde. On July 2007, the pair were detecting an unplowed field near Harrogate, England, when one of their metal detectors signaled something large and in charge. What came out of the ground that day was a large silver vessel filled with 617 coins, as well as 65 other items, including jewelry. These date back to the 10th century, making this a bona fide Viking treasure trove. Valued at over $1.5 million, this collection was purchased by the British Museum and displayed most recently at their Viking exhibition. Number 6. June 2008 brought Michael Denmar the find of a lifetime. The 20-year-old treasure hunter was diving in 18 feet of water about 30 miles west of Key West. After detecting what he thought was a beer can, he removed layers of sand and discovered the unmistakable glint of gold shimmering at the bottom of the ocean. The prize? A gold chalice, most likely from the sunken Spanish galleon, the Santa Margarita. Nearly five inches tall and large enough to hold a softball, this two-handled chalice is valued at more than a million dollars. The whole crew celebrated by filling the chalice with champagne and taking the first sip it's had in over 385 years. Michael Denmar was arrested shortly thereafter for underage drinking. Number 5. In 1966, in an area then known as Fishpool, a crew of workers were digging and stumbled upon a king's ransom, over 1,200 gold coins from the 15th century. Along with the coins, there were two lengths of chain, four rings, and four other pieces of jewelry. The face value alone of the coins is equivalent to about $450,000 in today's money. But that's not even accounting for the treasure or gold value. The fishpool hoard is currently on display at the British Museum. Number 4. In 2001, near Sandwich, England, Cliff Bradshaw unearthed an extremely rare and ancient find, the Ringlemere Cup. After scouring the property, Mr. Bradshaw spotted a section of slightly raised land that he assumed to be a burial ground. After scouring the mound, finally a signal. Out from the soil came a large golden cup dating back to 1700 BC. The cup has a rounded or unstable bottom and was hand hammered from a solid gold lump. At some point a plow hit the cup, causing the damage seen here. Whoopsie daisy. The gold cup was purchased by the British Museum for $520,000. Nice! Number 3. In 2009, Terry Herbert decided to metal detect a freshly plowed field in Staffordshire, England. What he discovered is now known as the largest collection of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver metalwork ever found. 
Totaling over 3,500 pieces, the treasure is mostly war-related gear. Thousands of decorative items from the handles of swords and knives inlaid with garnets and ornate patterns. Altogether, the Staffordshire Hoard contains over 11 pounds of gold, 3 pounds of silver, and is valued at $5 million. If you'd like to see it, make sure to plan a trip to the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery where the collection currently resides. Number 2. In August 2009, in the heart of Shrewsbury, England, Nick Davies made an amazing discovery during his first month metal detecting. On a plantation near a public bridle path, Davies dug up a large pot containing 9,315 bronze Roman coins. Dating back to 335 AD, this hoard of coins was legally deemed treasure by the Treasure Valuation Committee. Unfortunately, Davies did not receive half the value of the coins because he didn't get permission to dig on the property. Always ask first, kids. Number 1. 21-year-old Danny Mills started adulthood with an incredible find. In fall of 2009, while detecting a field in Sudbury, England, Danny swung his metal detector over a huge target. After a brief dig, there sat a Roman lantern, fully intact. This lantern is the only complete example of its type ever found in the UK. Of course, the young whippersnapper immediately looked up the find on his smartphone. He quickly discovered that his lantern matched up with those excavated on the site of Pompeii. Dating between 43 and 300 AD, the lantern was preserved and donated to a museum in Ipswich where it can be viewed by the public. Danny celebrated by enjoying his first legal beer. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do us a favor and subscribe to Daily Pink Slip. Click like, share with your friends, hit us up on Facebook and Twitter, and leave comments. New Daily Pink Slip videos just for you guys every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss a video.